Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. While at Macworld Expo earlier this month, I caught up with Andreas from Axiotron and asked him about the latest developments with the Modbook. So Axiotron will take a MacBook and will make it into a tablet computer, building a screen onto it and then allowing you to draw on it with a pen and they've got some special software and everything like that. They've had theirs out now since last year and they have some recent developments with new software and some new hardware coming out as well. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm here with Andreas from Axiotron and of course the makers of the Modbook and yeah. we talked to you guys last year and it's been a great we'll year back, sell, yeah. selling Modbooks yeah, over the last fine. year. Yeah. And you, you've added some things to the current products, some, some new software and, yes. and such. software and hardware as a matter of fact. Mm. So the first thing that we added to the product is a, a Synergy Touch option. Mm. It will become available April 6th. Mm. But um, you know you can pre-order it right now already and uh, get in line because every single time we introduce a new product, it, well last time it took us a year to catch up with the backlog. Mm. We're better now. Uh, but get in line to get it early. So, so it's basically you can do the tablet with a pen but you can also touch with your fingers. Yeah, so the Synergy Touch from Axiotron is different from anything else that you've ever seen in the market. We have a good chunk of patent claims actually writing on it. Mm -hmm. um, the common idea of using a touch in a tablet is to replace the pen and switching back and forth between the two. So um, for example you put the pen close to the screen, it recognizes that there's a pen, it switches off the touch, you take it off and now it's touch sensitive. So you actually don't really get a new technology, you get just one that doesn't really work for one thing and then you're replacing it with another. So we believe in the pen as the ultimate user interface for our customers that is. So our Synergy Touch is supposed to simultaneously work with the pen as a support for the pen. So for example, we have um, um, some areas, uh, I'm showing now how it's supposed to work if you're a right-handed pen user. Mm -hmm. The left area has a couple of hot spots. One is uh, at the bottom, the other one is the top, and then halfway through. So let's say you're in Photoshop and you are having the paint brush active and you want to switch to the eyedropping tool to pick up a color that is nearby and then keep painting. Mm -hmm. Well, in our case, what you now do is you touch the center, a little menu pops, um, a little menu tab far, uh, drives out, then you touch the shortcuts that brings another screen up right next to it, uh, you know, translucent buttons, and there's the Alt key. So now you press the Alt key down and that changes the tip of your mouse cursor from paintbrush to the eyedropping tool. You pick up the color, you let go, and you keep painting. So it allows you to go through all those things a lot faster than if you just had that one point. Absolutely. Now, the other thing a lot of people are asking, of course, is instead of the, the white MacBooks, which of course are going out, do you have something that's going to work with the new aluminum MacBooks? Yes, we do too. So, for example, uh, we have our little Modbook Pro here. Oh, okay. Let's hold this up. Careful, this is a, okay. this is a take apart version, so meaning the top section is going to come off. Okay. So, um, let me just demonstrate what we did here. Um, one of the key challenges that we have with our MacBook, Modbook, is that it's based, it's a half body design. Right. So we built half the body and the other half is coming from the base system, in this case the Apple MacBook. What that also means is that our top design only works with the specific bottom design and if that product gets end of life, or terminate it, we don't really have something we can stick it to. Mm. And it also means that we are restricted in what we can do. We can't build the best tablet. What we can do here is we can turn an existing Mac into a tablet, but it's not really the best tablet I can build. For example, the pen is on this side, not because I like it there, but because I had to. I didn't have space anywhere else. Okay. So now what we did is we're changing to a multi-body design. We conceptually divide a notebook into three sections, the top, is what makes up um, what makes up the digitizer. Oh, okay. Touch on the top, digitizer behind the screen, screen in the middle. This is what makes a tablet a tablet. Now, if Apple changes something down here, mm -hmm. this is not going to affect my product up here. So this is the insides of your, your 15-inch exactly. aluminum MacBook, and you put it to a new case. Exactly. So you take your mother. Well, you don't do it, but our other yeah, service you, providers you do it. it. They pop the motherboard out and they pop it back in. And what you can see here is, conceptually, this side is built into the center enclosure. That's the center piece. And this part here is actually built on the bottom piece. So the battery and the disk drive now are also separate from this part. If Even if Apple terminates a product, the batteries are still there for a long time. So what is most likely to happen? Well, they may add a new couple of ports maybe or change the ports they have on it. Well, the bezel that the ports it behind is part of this framing structure. So I don't even have to touch the enclosure if they change something here. If they move the disk, um, the hard, uh, some components on the motherboard around, we can just re-engineer the engineering frame. So the idea is that 
before Axitron had offered a conversion kit for a MacBook. That's what we had. Now Axitron has a way of offering a 15-inch tablet computer mm -hmm. no matter what happens to the Apple MacBook base system, the MacBook Pro base system. Yeah. And that is that is really the, the big thing here. So when so when will when can we expect this model to be out? Well, um, at this point, we are expecting to be able to ship this in uh, around May, June. Okay. So um, we are confident that we can do this. This is why it's not tomorrow. Okay. So what are the what's the so what's the pricing going to be on this the new pricing, one? Pricing. If you already have a MacBook Pro, it's going to cost you thirty forty nine. Okay. If you wait until May, June, if you order pre ordered right now, it's twenty six hundred dollars. And um, you don't have to pay until we actually start shipping, but you can get your place in line and the good price um, secured. And of course, you have to add whatever MacBook you buy, MacBook Pro you buy. So with 9099 MacBook Pro, you would be ending up at uh, 4998. Okay. That would be the entry level with 2.4 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. And um, and how about the Synergy? Uh, how much? Uh, oh, that, synergy do that on the, no, the Synergy on the MacBook Pro is built in. Well, well it's the, gonna, uh, how about on the existing? It's uh, going to be $469, okay. $449 as an upgrade mm -hmm. price. And if you order it right now, it's 20, 299 Okay, that's upgrading your, your existing, existing modbook to a Synergy modbook. Right. If you buy a modbook new right now, you obviously would want the Synergy. So yeah. you buy the bundle, modbook and the Synergy, you put your name down for the Synergy, you pay for the mod, you start playing with it, and you end up paying less money than if you wait for months until we're actually shipping it. Okay. So, great. You know, we try to, to get the gadgets out, and you can start playing with them, and as we then right. deliver the other ones, um, you get to play some more. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. You can find out more and follow the latest developments at Axiotron.com. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.